A stumbling block has re-emerged in the race to pass a pandemic relief package just as the cries for help from struggling Americans become more desperate. The latest jobless claims report hitting a three-month high, coming in at 885,000 new applications. That's 85,000 more than estimates. Stack that on top of yesterday's retail sales number for the month of November, a fall of 1.1 percent. That far outpaces the much smaller expectation of a three-tenths of a percent drop, and we are looking at some serious pressure on Congress to get something done yesterday to the White House and Blake Berman. Blake, we thought this thing was really coming into focus, but now we've got Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania making a demand. There are demands from all different corners in Washington, Liz, as to what should or shouldn't be included in this potential COVID relief bill. And one of them comes from the Republican senator from Pennsylvania, Pat Toomey. You're right. He now wants language included uh, in this potential deal that would allow for a wind down of the Fed's abilities to set up credit lending facilities. That would run contrary to the warning that the Fed chair Jay Powell gave just yesterday. Now that we can we can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, it would be it would be bad to see, uh, you know, people losing their business, their life's work in many cases, or even generations worth of work because they couldn't last another few months. The package that is being discussed is roughly $900 billion, getting close to the finish line. We have an idea of some of the major top lines of what would be involved. That includes a round of direct payments, $600 to individuals more if you have children, $300 a week for uh, the federal plus up of uninsur uh, unemployment insurance benefits, more than $300 billion in help for small businesses, the overwhelming majority of that for a reauthorization of the PPP, along with money specifically designated for vaccine distribution. Now, this would be a massive package by historical standards, but also well short of the $3.4 trillion the Democrats had once sought and the $1.9 trillion that the White House had once proposed. The Senate Majority Leader saying today that unspent money would go to fund the bill. We intend to repurpose more than $400 billion in unspent funds, which we already allocated in the CARES Act. It turned out these funds did not need to be tapped to restore basic stability to our economy. It's time we put that money to urgent use. Liz, it is possible that there is a deal that would come together at some point over the next 24, 48 hours or so over here at the, at the White House. They are optimistic with that time frame. There's also optimism up on the Hill, but we also heard from Mitch McConnell today uh, suggest that this very well could go into the weekend. Aww. Liz? Yeah, you know, I don't know if you saw Axios this morning. I read their morning note, and it's the first line was regarding stimulus. Stop me if you've heard this before. <laughs> For and the it's last true. We five, keep saying, oh, it's six, just around the corner. Seven months, whatever it's been, right? Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Blake Berman live at the White House.